Long time. No see. Are we all good? I really hope so. I can't believe how long it's been. Oh. Um, right, so we'll wait for a few people to jump on and then we will get started. So basically tonight live, tonight's Try Out Tuesday is going to sort of be a restarting your mojo. Um, I haven't done a Try Out Tuesday now for over a month and there's been lots happening and I haven't, I've barely even sat at my craft desk. Well, actually I haven't sat at my craft desk. So this is going to be a whole, hi Alison, this is going to be a whole restarting your mojo sort of thing. Um, so we'll wait for a few people to jump in and then we will get going. I will find you on the old phony phony so I can follow the comments and we'll go from there. Oh dear. <clears throat> no, that's not what I wanted to do. Then hopefully Sam will join in soon as well. Okay, I can't see comments. Hello, Fiona. Hi, Elaine. Right, I did. I did actually did try and start with the whole face on thing, but because of how I or orientate, it sounds like the wrong thing. But I'm going to go with it because because of how I orient my um, tablet, I couldn't do a face on first. Um, so we just had to go back to normal um, as much as possible. Okay, speaking of normal. Hello, here I am. Yeah, I know. I am not exactly the poster person for normal, but me being here on a Tuesday at 8 is our normal, isn't it? So that's what we're going to go with. So I apologise for there not being any lives. Like I say, this is my first one in a month. A month. Because um, we had to take some time away. Um, and I'm so happy to be back. But I will say, like I say, I haven't touched anything. My hands have had no ink on them. Um, it's a very bizarre situation to be in. Um, and we've missed you all so much. Um, but it it does sort of put you back, doesn't it? It puts you like, well, where do I start again? And I think I've always maintained this. You know, if you are crafting, you need to keep crafting. Creativity isn't something you use up. You generate it. So you have to be making things to come up with the ideas to make things as daft as it sounds. Um, and that's something I've always said and I strongly believe it now more than ever because I came in here at five o'clock today um, with the full intent of prepping for this live and let's just say the preparation has been minimal um, and I've been struggling to put some things together but we are going to make something we're going to make a tag because that's what I always say isn't it go back to a tag now I've picked quite a large one because I do have a bit of a vacant idea of what I'm going to do um, but I will say if you are so restarting your mojo and all this sort of thing go with a smaller one just have a play and have some fun with it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off so we've got this tag here i was going to start off with um with a smaller sized one and then i wasn't sure if what i wanted to do would fit so i'm going to go with the larger sized one anyway um and then if it's too big then whatever that's just what it is right so i've got a book page here and we're going to use some ink and some paint and look at this lovely fresh clean paint water it's a whole new experience <laughs> and we're going to use all the colors okay we're going to use every color we can think of and just really have a bit of a bit of a mess a bit of a play not be too serious about the whole thing because that's what i feel like all right, so I've got a page from Julius Caesar, because, you know, why wouldn't you? Just saying. All right, and we're going to add some bits to this. I have started putting together a bit of a scraps box, um, which I'm going to be using, um, because all the things that aren't complete, but I like the pattern on, for example, this, I'm going to tear, tear them apart, and then I can use them on other stuff later, like collage pieces. Um, but some collage pieces i'm still yet to make and i've still not got into my jelly printing the way i wanted to so we're going to have a bit of a play with here and we're going to use our inkables big ones 
to do this okay so i've got my bake well here obviously okay and then i'm going to use some of the abstract circles and then maybe some of the circles for circles yeah we'll go with those three for now okay the um i'm not saying i'm gonna use them all but i might um <coughs> I've totally lost my train of thought already. You're going to have to bear with me. Like I say, I'm out of practice. Oh, I am out of practice. I'm going to get my blending mat out because we're going to be getting inky. Alrighty. Okay. So I'm going to get... I'll tell you what I'm going to get because I think this is a good way of doing it as well. I'm going to get my super skinny slim. Okay. And then we're going to pick out some colours. I think we're going to go on with a bit of a, a twisted citron on there. And then I'm going to go maybe with some picked raspberry. How about that? Um, and I'll tell you what, yeah, we'll just use those two to start with. Okay, we're going to spritz those up. You know what, we're going to add a little more water than that. I'm going to run them into each other a little. Then we're going to go on to this piece of paper here with the words on it. Oh, look at that. Okay. Do you know what? Where's me? Scrap that I'm using. Do, do, do. Typical. Put some of that on there for now. And we'll wipe off the excess. See, Sam's been really good, you know. Sam's even washed all on our well, whilst on our hiatus. Sammy's even washed all of her painty towels. I have not done that. Oh no, in fact she I think she might have even treated herself to new ones. Um Right, okay, and then I'm just gonna heat set this. Was that an acetate you just used? It was my super skinny slim, my darling. All right, so let me get me thing for heat heating. Okay, so this is one of our super skinny slims for stamping. Okay, this is the second biggest one we do. Okay, um, so we use those for you putting your stamps on. It's like an acrylic block, but it's but it's quite thin, so it's good. It's got a little bit of flex to it. All right, but the other cool thing about it is it's great for doing inky sort of techniques okay Heidi I really need you to reread what you just put like I really really need you to reread what you just put Heidi just yeah I'm not going to put that into the permanent voiceover for this video but I want you to read it. Right. Okay. And then I'm going to go on. <laughs> oh dear. For those catching up later, Heidi was just massively rinsed by predictive text. She meant to write tea towels. Tea towels did not come up. Right, we're going to put some fossilised amber on here and then we're going to spritz again okay we're going to let that run slightly and go over the top but i'm just going to lightly dab lightly dab lightly dab there we go all right And then we're going to heat onto here. All right. OK, 
Okay, so that's sort of giving us sort of like a matte look. Okay, so because you were using the oxides. Now from here, I'm going to go with some distressing. So it's a more vivid sort of colour. But we'll, get, we'll use some of the similar colours. So I think we're going to go for a picked raspberry. Okay, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with my circles for circles. I'm going to ink directly onto the template just in a few random areas so your inkable big ones if you haven't seen them before these are quite big hence the big ones are the biggest ones in the inkables range um, but they're still made from the same fantastic mylar you can emboss with them you can do all of that it was almost it was definitely better than sam's kitchen tweezers okay then we're just going to press onto here and then we're going to peel off. And heat. I should have dried this off a bit more before I added more ink on. That's okay, that's okay. All right, so we're gonna then go to our tag. Now I'm using one of the big Dina Wakely tags. Um, one of the reasons I'm using one of the big Dina Wakely tags was because, like I say, I wanted something a bit bigger, but also it's not just that, I won't pretend it is. Um, I also went to cut some of the tags using the Bee Crafty cutting dies. Um, and then I remembered I broke the handle off my Spellbinder's Grand Calibre and I've got no way of cutting them. So, you know, there's that. Right, so I'm going to rip this and I'm going to rip it in sort of a random esque shape because I don't want it. Okay. And then we're going to stick that onto there using some matte medium. Okay. So my first matte medium of 2023. I'm actually quite excited. I can't lie. Well, I would be if I could get the lid off. There we go. First matte medium of 2023. Oh, the joy. Feels like home. I mean, I am at home, but you know what I mean. Right. I'm going to go down there with our matte medium and I'm really going to go for it, the matte medium on the back because obviously I don't want to put it on the front because we're using water reactive inks. But I'm going to give it a quick flip over. With the matte medium. And we're going to add some more inks on there. So if it does come off and smudge a bit, it's no big issue. We're not. Will we be restocking the Dilusions Classic and Ledger Journals? We absolutely will, Noreen. They are already on order. But I think we can all agree. Postal services of any description have not been on our side recently. So, you know, bear with. Is that matte medium in the squeezy bottle? Yes, it is, my duck. We're hoping for some big tubs of matte medium back and all. But, you know. Hoping. I know it doesn't seem like a very productive way of doing things, but it is literally all we have right now. Hope. You know. So, right, I'm going to go in with a bit more pink. Because I felt like I didn't really... I mean, when I say, when I say I was getting ready for a face on, seriously, wearing my proper bee crafty pinny and everything. But there we go. Let's face it. It's not me you came to see anyway, is it? It's craftiness. It's the craftiness. All right, so we're going to put that up here. Oh, yes. And put that down here. Love it. Can't get enough. Right, 
Right. And we're going to quickly heat set these. I honestly think this is one of those projects I could have made, if I'd have been making it a month ago when I was on top of my game, I could have had it done in about 10 minutes. But I'm just not there. <laughs> just not there. Just not there right now. All right. And then I'm going to do some abstract circles. And here I'm going to need an, a sheet for going behind to catch over spray because I'm going to get some dilution spraying. Okay. I'm going to use some lemon zest. And we're going to go a bit in this corner. And then I'm going to need, oh, I'll tell you what I am going to do. I've got a sheet of catalyst paper that I will start adjusting. Because that's got abstract circles on it. So adding on some yellow ones is just going to work. And then again, we're going to heat set this because I'm using all water based inks. I just, uh, water activated inks, I should say. Um, I do like to just heat set between layers because even though they might get going again and move a bit, once they're dry, it does make that a little bit harder. And then we're going to do some stamping. And I just feel like this needs a little bit of blue. Okay, because I feel like I've pushed that green so far back you can barely tell it's there. But the whole point is it is there and it is coming through on a slight... Oh yeah, you can really see it where I tilt it there, can't you? <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a palette. I want a big palette because I want to use a big brush. Okay. And I'm going to put... Some London blue. Should I put some London blue? A calypso teal. I think I might do some calypso teal. And like a little bit in this well here. Small, small bit. Probably didn't even need that much. And I'm going to get this massive one here. This is the new number 24 brush from Dina Wakely Media. You can tell it's nice. I haven't ruined it with them. And I won't ruin this one with uh, matte medium it does have its little brother as well which is number 20 um and you've got number 16 there um but i'm going to use number 24 i went for the big tags i might as well go for the big brush and these have got a rounded end okay and i just think they're really good now we'll be using these a lot in the new freehand friday projects we're going to be uploading to youtube on fridays okay um so keep your eyes out for those well i am in my freehand fridays okay but there is although i haven't ruined that it appears i have left some ink in it <laughs> right i'm gonna put some ink here and we're gonna Travel it out just a little bit. I'm going to heat set these. And in fairness, Fiona, there are brushes you need. You know me, I very rarely say, oh, you have to have these. You know, you want them, but you don't have to have them. If you enjoy your art journaling mixed media 
with brushes and, and this sort of thing, using your paints in it in quite a loose freehand sort of way. I have to be honest, the round tip brushes do, in my opinion, really, really help that. I'm just going to reactivate these little spots here and I'm going to drip them the other way just to sort of mix the medium as it is. I really sort of want to dry that drop in place because it will really be quite Potent. And then we're going to start some stamping. Okay. <clears throat> now, the good thing about having dilution zinc in your palette, okay, is if you put this to the side and it dries out, okay, come back, add some water to it, you're golden, it's ready to go again, okay? So, even if you put that to the side, it dries out and whatever, it's not wasted. I want to mop that up in a minute. Um, and that's the, and that's one of the reasons Dilution Zinc are so awesome. But you can do the same with Distress Stain Sprays and Oxide Sprays as well. They do reactivate really, really, really well. Okay, so <clears throat> moving on. Moving on, moving on. I'm going to be using the... Journaling Girls Borders number one um, that was designed by Sam. Now this was designed to go with the Bev and Sam Journaling Girls. Okay, but they're just a really handy. This one here is probably my most used. Okay, I think it goes really well in sort of like an art journaling setup. Um, and I think you can add to it. You you can colour in the leaves a bit if you like, but it just. It, it lends itself with the doodle style, the journaling girls, and the more pen and ink style as well, which we are going to be using. Okay, so I'm going to take this and we're going to do three of these. Okay, you can see they're quite tall. They are also, you know, if you want to manipulate them to bend them round, you can absolutely do that. one there but I am actually just gonna do some secondary stamping as well and then we'll do a proper shorter one um, so we'll do some more of these around here okay in that set okay and then i'm going to take some of the coffee stains um if you haven't seen this set sam will tell you um basically your life's a waste um because this is a really good set and from this one we're actually going to use this coffee stain here okay but we're not going to just stamp it on I've got a tag using one of the dinkable sets it was where I was showing off the dinkable sets using sprays okay um, on a live so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this over one of these to layer onto here and that's to create a frame okay so we're going to ink and then we're going to go over this centre one. To create the frame. Okay, so sorry, just quickly. Wait, when you get your Super Skinny Slims, if you order Super Skinny Slims, this is one of the smaller sets of four, if you prefer something smaller. And there is a circle one as well in that set. And um, they do come with a blue film. Um, now you can peel that off so that they're perfectly clear um, but a lot of people do choose to leave the blue on it because it makes them easier to find on your desk um, but that's personal choice 
that up to. I'll get take them off in for just a second. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out to make that frame. Okay, but we're just going to give it a little border. We're not going to get too into it. As you can see, this is quite a you know, sort of, it, it's rusticy, edgy. It's not okay. Okay, this is a really good time, actually, whilst I'm doing something boring, um, i.e. cutting out, to ask you all a favour. Okay, 2023, I reckon, is going to be hard enough for small businesses, and we appreciate you can't always buy all the things you want, because we know this, because we can't. Okay, um, so, but you can still help us, even if you're not in a position to buy all the time. Okay, if you see a post by Be Crafty on Facebook and whatever. Instead of clicking like, if you can click the heart or the wow, or even comment, even just with an emoji, okay, Facebook sees it as more valuable and it'll show it to more people. Okay, so for example, we have six and a half thousand followers on Facebook, right? But it only ever shows our post to a few hundred of those. So the more valuable we can make the post look, the more people they'll show it to. And that's people that actually follow us. So people that want to see them. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, if you if you haven't got time, if you could just click the heart or the wow emoji. Um, and if you do have time, leave a comment. Um, even if it is just an emoji in the comment as well. That would be brutal. Honestly, it just all helps basically. See, that looks a little bit lonely on its own. Should I do another one? No, stick with the plan. Stick with the plan. Okay. What have I also got? Sizal. Now I've got loads of this and I went through a phase of using it on everything but I haven't used it on anything recently. I get some Sizal. Love it. Right, this is just sort of like this fibrous nonsense. Oh that's got a bit of hay in it. That's probably been provided by me. Okay. So that's coming. But first of all we are also going to take these little numbers here. Okay, these are on your coffee stain stamps. You will also find them in a bigger set on the I did plan um, on some of the journal art elements. And again, this is this used to be Sam's favorite stamp. Okay, out of all the stamps I've designed, the stamp Sam's designed, all of the stamps we have ever put out, these little numbers, what can I say? They bring Samantha joy. absolute joy and in fairness if something brings your big sister joy especially when you've got to work with her do you know what i mean you stick with it you keep going why do you think i did them bigger so we're just going to put some of these in some random places okay and then we'll put them back on there because if i lose them Tracy, only on Facebook, that's absolutely fine. You know, this is why I'm saying, you know, I don't, I'm not asking anyone to commit to loads because everybody's busy, everybody's got stuff on. So it's just, if you see us and you can, that would be awesome. Oh, sorry, now this I didn't plan. I'm, I'm starting to go, I'm starting to go off plan. I am starting to go off plan. Um... Like I say, I haven't seen my stash in a while. So I'm just going off plan. Okay, so that's fine. So we're going to go with the large numbers. Large numbers number one. Okay, you've got these here. Your six is also your nine. Um, and you've also got... Okay. So we're going to go with... two three okay and I'm gonna do Oh, 
go to do a sizal sharing scheme. Uh, to be honest, Sal, you've had worse ideas, Babs. My gorgeous little ninja. Right. See, I don't mind that that's giving off bird's nest vibes because it is a bird that I'm going to put in there. Alright. So, I'm going to get my matte medium. You can actually spray sizal as well. Um, with your dilutions ink because it's a natural fibre it takes the ink really really well <coughs> I'm going to put that little frame on top of the size all there and it's going to have a little bit of that on it for a second while we sort out our words and for our words we're going to go to the incredible words after lunch okay we're going to do the incredible words and i'm just looking at them now and thinking of how to put them together Okay. Be I'm just also going to check my creativity words. What I don't have in here is a backing for my creativity words. So you can mix and match them really, really well. Okay. Just do you are amazing. Have a laugh. 23 is your age, Heidi. Okay. That's all I'm going to say to that. Okay. You do you, babes. You do you. Right. I think I'm going to go to my new little collage box that I've got going on to put this on. Okay. Um... Let's go. I've got some blue bits in here. So we'll go with... See, this was supposed to have... Um... This won't surprise any of you, I'm sure. It was supposed to have some clear space on it. Who, who would have guessed? I would have struggled there. Do you know what I mean? Who would have guessed? I've lost my versifying Claire, so I'm going to have to go to my old one. And I've got a, I've got a really funny earworm going as well. Basically, get a little birdhouse in your soul. Not to put too fine a point on it. I might just stick with the blue ones. Ah, uh, earworm. You know when you get a song in your head and it doesn't matter what else you listen to all day or a song or a tune 
or something like that. And mine at the minute is get a little bird house in your soul. Not to put too fine a point on it. <laughs> Have a little bird house in your soul. Got no idea why. But there we go. I think I'm over trying to explain myself really. Because for a start, I'm not sure I can. Well, I think that's captured enough for me to mess a little bit more. And yes, also, I can see you're talking about it. Please, please do share your makes in the group, okay? We really, really want to see them. So if you're not, if you follow Be Crafty on Facebook, thank you very much. But in terms of sharing, it would be great if you could share your makes in the Be Crafty Stamps Facebook group. Okay. You want to do a journal page for 2023, but I can't think at the moment what to do. Oh no, it's not. Heidi, you don't have to apologise for not sharing enough. Primarily, it's just because we're nosy and we really want to see what you're making. It's not a prerequisite. It's not like a, in order to have be crafty stuff, you have to do this. We just like to see... That's all. And do enter the challenge, please. Yes, Sally has put a new challenge on for January. Bless her. And she is a ninja, so she can come get you if you don't enter. And yes, I'm resorting to threatened. I'm okay with it. <laughs> We will send the Bee Crafty Ninja for you to explain yourself. You are amazing. Okay. And on top of that, I have two choices. I have a doodle art flower and I have a birdie. But it's going to be the birdie because I've been singing Birdhouse in Your Soul in my head for the past 20 minutes. So, it's obviously... In. Tracy, have you got any idea of what you'd like to use? That can sometimes be a really good starting off point. You know, a particular stamp set, a particular product. So if there's a particular product you want to use, you can always start there and work out the way. Yeah? Right, so like I say, I have gone too far in my addition of colour to this project. So I'm going to need to take it back a little. And now I've gone too far in the, in the Posca prep, but that's all right. I'm just going to use this to add in some whites. Now, if you are putting in Posca over Dilutions Ink, I will warn you, some of the ink will leach up. If you want to resist that as much as possible, you know, 
leave it to dry and I don't mean leave it to dry for 10 minutes and I don't mean heat set it I mean leave it to dry I'm talking 24 hours till it is dry right through to the core okay And that will um, restrict how much of the ink leaching you get. Now I have to use this one because I've done the other two and it'll look silly if I don't. I'm just going to put little dots around this coffee stain frame we made and then some little hand-drawn something to show it off don't I there we go so I think that's a cracking kickstart to the mojo in fairness it wasn't supposed to be a kickstart it was supposed to be a restart but kickstart works too I think doesn't it little boot okay so yes the challenge I believe is any unused stash to make a tag with some unused stash so anything that you got new anything that you got new last year and you still haven't opened okay um, anything that you got the year before and still haven't opened use some unused stash with your be crafty stamps, make a tag, get in your basket, okay? And you can win, you can enter three times, so there's always something to go for. Okay. So thank you so much for joining me. I apologise once again for our absence, but we are back and happy new year to you all. Sam is live in crafting together with all brands tomorrow at two o'clock so you can join her there um like i say we do have the free hand friday video coming up on youtube so make sure you are subscribed to the be crafty youtube channel because that's where it's going it won't be going anywhere else i will put a link on facebook but please subscribe anyway again all helps um and then sam will be doing chit chat friday this week at 2 30 so you can catch up with her and Cooper because we know that's who you're looking for anyway. Um, and uh, she will see you then. So thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad to be back as well. Um, and hopefully 2023 is going to bring lots more good stuff. Thank you so much, guys. Little zoomy zoom. Bye.